friends, it's Jenny, and I want to do my wrap-up for the May Collection Obsession. As a reminder, I used the Amy Tan on a Whim Collection, and my goal was to make four layouts, and I did. I completed four layouts. So with that, there are only videos for two of them, so I apologize. I, I did try to tape and user error. That's all I can say, user error. So on my first layout, there was two papers that I had planned to use, which was this very bright and colorful flower along with this around the edges, which is like a kind of like a patchwork quilt. Putting those two together, I needed some space for our eye to rest, which is why I ended up using white as the background. Now this black grid is a piece of six by six paper. The yellow tag was uh, cut apart. This ephemera, chipboard, chipboard. I ended up using um, that wood veneer. I've got a cute bow. Come on, ephemera. Flowers. These are all stickers, the clear stickers. So that was layout number one. I did use my um, scallop punch and then I used a Rick Rip ribbon down here. And the photo is of my three kiddos. There's no uh, video for this one, but this was the layout number two. A lot of pattern here. The outside is just a pink and white floral. The middle here was a white with words. The top one here was just a nice tropical floral with pineapples in here. And I ended up using a scrap of yellow around it to kind of separate. This green is part of a six by six paper pad. So I, I put that there as well, hoping to create these layers so that, you know, it, it's not well, bam in your face. Kind of is anyway, though. So this here was a six by six card. I cut that down. This is a picture of my middle daughter, Elizabeth, and it's from a long time ago. I think she was three, three or four in this photo, probably four. But I wonder where Quinn gets her sass, probably from her aunt, huh? So cute. Gosh, I wish, I mean, I'm, I'm very blessed I have, I have the baby. You know, I get to be a Grammy now, but boy, when they were little, hmm, such a long, long time ago. Clear stickers around here and here. Some of those tiny word stickers and then another wood veneer with a bow in there. Clear sticker over here. But this is this was layout number two of, of my little girl. Layout number three, my little girl, <laughs> middle girl Elizabeth, getting bigger, and the youngest one, George, who is now 21. This is just a photo. He was messing around. As you can tell, he's got his little football um, practice jersey and helmet and dinosaur pajamas. <laughs> She's in her room just on her, her laptop. So this particular piece of paper had this on there as the branding strip, so I kept that on there and cut a half inch off the top. Really liked this um, stripe. These four pieces of paper here, I cut into four by four squares, roughed up the edges. They are all from the six by six pad. I was able to get another wood veneer in here with another, with a black bow. This is a piece of chipboard with some clear stickers. This was a piece of ephemera. I've got that punch, you know, on popped up just a little bit. A sticker, sticker, sticker. These are stickers, the plants, and all around here are stickers. And then I used a chipboard title, awesome. But yeah, these are just pictures of my kiddos um, from, good gracious, he, he was maybe in first, second grade. Like I said, he's 21 and she lives in Florida, which is where she's always wanted to be, but it makes my mama heart sad. She's over a thousand miles away. I just love her. I just love her. And the last one, you would have seen a video on this one. This is uh, Miss Sass Quinn um, playing with Snapchat filters with her mama. So I used 
this is a full piece of paper from the pad. I've got another white slice of cardstock. And what I did here is I cut, I believe these are two and a half inch strips of four different papers. So I, I like the bright colors, but you know, you do, I had to break it up with the white again. I've got a clear sticker here, piece of chipboard. I've got the clear sticker um, palm trees. There are, this is ephemera and this is ephemera. This is one of the clear stickers. I was able to get and use one of the flares on here. Hot Mama is a chipboard, clear stickers. This is just a piece of ephemera and some pineapples. And then these three hearts are chipboard as well. So using my Amy Tan kit, I don't have much left as far as papers, but I've, I, put to, I put away what I do have because Amy Tan's collections all tended to be this kind of bright. So uh, I have to figure out which one I can combine the remainder of this with, but I was done with it for now. I'm, I'm done with it, I put it away. So as a reminder, I did get four layouts done. Here, here was number three. Here was number two. And here's number one. And as you can see, I am one blessed mama. As far as my kiddos and then having my grandbaby, I, you know, life is good. Life is good if it's just the people that I have in my life. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the wrap up. I will be back to show you what my plan is for June. Like and subscribe. Let me know what your thoughts are. What are you thinking about doing in June? We're getting into those summer months when we all get a little bit busier and our, you know, scrappy time might dwindle a little bit, but we do the best we can, right? Everybody, thank you so much and have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.